The weak feeling strategy is something that not a lot of traders use, but every single trader should understand that weeks that we see on the chart are a draw on liquidity. Now, before I dive into a dozen of examples, before I dive into telling you guys how you can use these weeks to trade them, I first want to explain to you guys why weeks actually are a draw on liquidity. Because a week is basically indicating a fast price movement, right? Either the price moving down quite fast before reversing up quite fast, or the price moving up quite fast before reversing down quite fast. Now, the issue here is, is that many people think that once we create a big week to the downside or a big week to the upside, or we create a hammer candlestick to the upside or downside, people think that a potential bottom or a potential top is in and that the price should aggressively expand towards the opposite side. But this is actually not true. A week remains a drawn liquidity, which means that the price is naturally attracted to that area of interest. Now, why is that? Like I said, a week is indicating a fast price move. What it's actually indicating is too fast of a price move. Now, what does this mean? It means that price moves too fast into a certain direction before reversing towards the opposite side. And because it moves too fast, smart money, the wheels, the bigger players inside of this market, the people who actually decide what's going to happen to the market, they don't have the time to fill their orders because price was moving too fast. Now, why do they not have the time to fill their orders? Because you should think, but Jeep, if, if the price went somewhere, the orders got filled if their orders were there, right? That's actually not the case. You have to realize that these people, they have so much money and their orders are so big that it actually takes time for their orders to get filled. Think in a logical way. If they want to fill millions and millions and millions of buy orders, there need to be millions and millions and millions of people selling to them, right? In order, in order for them to be able to buy. Because if no one is selling orders to them, how are they going to fill their own orders and fill their own buys, right? Think in a logical way. If you're going to a supermarket and you want to buy fucking 50 watermelons, but they only are offering 30 watermelons in store at that time, you're never ever going to be able to fill your buy orders. It's going to take time. So you're going to go to the next store, to the next store, right? And that the process that takes time. And once the market understands that there's not enough watermelons, it's slowly but surely going to increase the supply. But also that it takes time. So I think in a logical way, if the price moves too fast inside of a certain liquidity pool, where usually smart money wants to fill their orders, Smart money doesn't have the time to fill their orders. So this is where the weak feeling strategy comes into play. It means that the price is still attracted to that area because there is no way, no way that smart money, the bigger players inside of this market are going to let the price reverse towards the opposite side without them being in a position because they always make sure that they make money. But what do they do? They push the price back to fill that wick at least for 50% or for 100%, right? That varies from, from time to time, right? It is not always the same. But the 50% level of the week is always a very, very important level. And I will explain to you guys in a little bit how you can use it before reversing the price still towards the opposite side, okay? And that's how the weak feeling strategy works. That's the theory behind the weak feeling strategy. I want you to understand the theory you can apply it onto the chart and you know that you, you should never, ever, ever trust a wick as a top or as a bottom. And that naturally the price will still be attracted to that wick to fill it at least for 50% or maybe for 100% before either reversing the price still or maybe just bursting straight through it and the wick being a trap. Now, what we can see over here is the Bitcoin chart from a few months ago. And I have a dozen of examples inside of this price section only. So this is only a few days, a few weeks of price section. And I have a dozen of very simple examples for you guys. Guys, you see weeks all over the place. We see weeks to the downside. We see big weeks to the upside, right? We see some more weeks to the upside being created. Some more weeks. And these weeks, we know now that they are all a draw of fucking liquidity. 
another week over here and now i've applied the 50 percent week fill level let's start with this week over here what we see is that we create a big week to the downside before dropping off to the downside now many people would think okay we create a week we drop off we displace over here we fill the displacement and we should continue towards 20k and i should be able to make money no what they didn't understand is that actually we had a big week to the downside over here correct that was a draw on liquidity we filled that week over here for 100 percent and then we are attracted to the next week which is the 50% weak fill level of this big week over here. Look how we tap into that 50% weak fill level and look how we reject afterwards. Now, once again, we reject to the downside, create some fake break of structures all over the place. People don't realize that we have another huge week to the upside right over here that should get filled at least for 50 or 100% as well. So what does the price do? it pushes back up towards the 50% and 100% week fill level of this week over here. One week, two weeks, three weeks, four weeks. Five. Every single time we see how the price is naturally being attracted to these weeks and it bounces. First week over here. This is a beautiful example in my opinion. Because we, we take the 50% week fill level of this one over here. Look how we fill it and we bounce. Look. How we wick to the downside one more time and we put in another wick. The price bounces. The price creates a fake break of structure. People think that we should continue higher. People don't realize that instead we have liquidity resting over here because of the fake break of structure. And we have liquidity resting over here because of the wick. Price is being attracted to the wick, fills the wick for 50%. What do we do? We put in another wick to the downside over here. Once again, let's take the 50% weak fill level. Price pushes up, but still it returns back to fill 50% of the week before giving us a fresh high over here. Okay, once again, we make a lower low. We get a fake breakdown over here. People don't realize that the drawn liquidity is actually resting towards the upside with one big week and two big weeks. Fill for 50%, reject, still push up, to fill the entire week over here before getting rejection to the downside. And when we look at this rejection to the downside, guys, once again, what can we see? A big week. That big week gives us a small impulse higher. People think that this is a valid break of structure. So what do they do? They see a big week to the downside. They see a, a, a fake break of structure. They think it's a valid one. They break out long the price of Bitcoin expecting higher prices. But do they not realize that we have a big S week to the downside over here? that is about to get filled for 50%. Fill it for 50%, provide a small bounce, and we push lower, okay? Every single time, guys. I can give you guys a dozen more examples over here. It's such a beautiful strategy. It's such a beautiful way of understanding how price action works. And these are all the weeks that I just explained, right? But we have a few lovely more examples. Look at this, guys. We push up in towards this liquidity pool over here of another big week, right? We wick into that liquidity pool over here. This week into that liquidity pool fills this week over here for 50%. Look how beautiful we filled that week for 50%. But by filling that week for 50%, what do we do? We put in another week to the upside over here. So what does the price do? It fills that week for 50% once again, and then we get a huge drop off to the downside over here and we see lower prices. So we fill this small week for 50% over here. By filling that week for 50%, we put in another big week to the upside. We fill that week for 50% by taking out the top of this week over here. Then we put in another week we fill that week for 50% and then we drop off to the downside. Now, guys, if this is not showing to you how powerful these weeks are, you're not going to make it. Over here, I have another lovely, lovely example. And this example that I'm about to show you guys is going to show to you guys how important it is to understand that 50% week fill level. Because what we see over here, we put in the big week to the downside, correct? Over here, look how we front run that 50% weak fill level and we push up afterward. Now we know these weeks, guys, 
they're 100 going to get filled at least for 50 percent if you see your front run of the 50 percent weak fill level you know that the bounce that is going to be followed up afterwards is going to be a huge ass trap and the front run of that 50 percent weak fill level can be seen as an inducement now if we induce that 50 percent weak fill level i am always willing to trade it what do i mean by that i mean that once we front run it like we did over here and we are still going to visit the 50 percent weak fill level i'm willing to play it with a limit order and put my stop loss beneath the wick and target higher levels. Now let's say we would have done that in this case, it would have offered a 10.55 RR trade. Okay, let's say we target this previous wick over here, the top of the wick. It still would have been a 9.29 RR trade. Just by analyzing that we had this wick to the downside over here, that we front run the 50% weak fill level over here, analyzing that this is a valid inducement that we form, long the sweep of that inducement into the 50% weak fill level and target higher levels. Now, if you don't believe me, test this on a few different charts. Go onto the Ethereum chart, go onto the Chainlink chart and see if you can identify certain weeks on the four hourly time frame. See for yourself how these weeks are a huge draw on liquidity for the price see for yourself how they are constantly attracting the price and filling it for at least 50 percent or 100 percent and see for yourself that if you have an inducement above or below that 50 percent weak fill level that you can play it with a limit order and over time you're going to make a whole lot of money besides forex and commodity trading prime xpt has now also introduced crypto futures trading so you can now also trade bitcoin ethereum and the numerous amounts of altcoins next to the fact that i think that prime xpt to trade forex and commodities with your own funds instead of trading at prop firms like private funded i think prime xpt is the best place to do so make sure to sign up with the link down below in the description to receive a seven percent deposit bonus